This won't hurt a bit. Got it. Now sit back down, you criminal. Have you noticed that the windows of SpongeBob's house also go out for a walk and then come back? That's exactly what happened in the episode Reef Blower. The one where SpongeBob and Squidward's voice actors took a break and none of the characters speak a word throughout the episode. This is the famous episode where SpongeBob uses his super modern vacuum cleaner, which I'm sure you remember. And at a certain moment when SpongeBob is using his equipment, we can see his house in the background. Notice that it appears to be normal, right? And if you count, there are two windows there. But shortly after, it reappears. And if you look closely, you'll see that the window on the first floor of SpongeBob's bedroom has appeared when it wasn't there before, now totaling three windows. A small mistake in the most famous house under the sea. If you had watched this episode and hadn't noticed, that's okay, because we hadn't seen it either. But as soon as we discovered it, we had to tell you, because you had to know. <laughs> and there's much more where that error came from. Still in the Reef Blower episode, we noticed another mistake that the cartoon's animators let slip by. This time it's a continuity error. Notice that Squidward is doing one of the best things in the world, lying in a hammock tied between two corals, relaxing. But right after that, when SpongeBob is trying to blow a conch and ends up throwing a lot of dirt in Squidward's direction, magically, he's sitting at a table eating something. But wait, where is the hammock and the two corals it was tied to? Strange, right? In the third episode of the first season, Tea at the Tree Dome, we see that SpongeBob needs to learn good manners to meet Sandy. And for that, he seeks help from the most capable and intelligent person he knows, his best friend Patrick Starr. Friendship is everything, really. <laughs> the fact is that Patrick teaches SpongeBob that being fancy is very easy. Just raise your pinky finger. But it seems our sponge friend got a little confused for a few seconds. And instead of raising his pinky finger, he raises his index finger. And we see this not just once, but twice, because when he's heading to Sandy's house, he still has his index finger raised. How's that? Higher. Like that? They should call you SpongeBob Fancy Pants. When in doubt, pinky out. In the same episode, we find another mistake. Sandy's house is certainly the most different one in Bikini Bottom since it was designed for a mammal to live underwater. It has some distinctive features like a tree and a hallway leading to the house where water is blocked to avoid flooding Sandy's living area. And when we see Bob and Patrick walking towards the dome tree for the first time, everything seems fine, right? But if you look closely as they approach, there's a device that looks like a red light that goes off in case of an alert. A small continuity error that we noticed. You can do it, SpongeBob. I'll be watching. Thanks, pal. In the episode, Shell Shocked, we finally discover how Gary loses his shell. And I have to say, it's not very pretty. SpongeBob accidentally breaks it, and Gary needs a new shell. So SpongeBob starts looking for alternatives and makes a joke by putting an aquarium on his head. Yes, an aquarium underwater, but that's okay. The fact is, when he's pretending to be a robot, his arm simply goes through and overlaps with the aquarium on his head, which is totally unnatural. Another mistake for our list. I am SpongeBob. I come from the future. Stop. In the same episode, we find another animation error, but this time involving another character, Mr. Krabs. When he's talking to SpongeBob and puts his claws on his waist for a frame, his left arm loses color completely, and you can see through it. Sinister. Now, how much you got? Nothing, Mr. Krabs. I'm broke. Oh. I see. Remember the first mistake we talked about at the beginning in the episode Reef Blower? Well, it had no spoken words, but it had a few mistakes, and we found another one. Remember the flower that Squidward arranges at the very beginning of the episode? Well, when Squidward is eating, shortly before being literally buried, it's no longer there. In fact, if we look closely, right at the very beginning of the episode, it wasn't there either. It only appeared along with Squidward. We're going to show you more Spongebob errors, but for us to know that you're a fan of the show, just comment hashtag Bikini Bottom down below as a tribute to the city where Spongebob lives, you know, forever. <laughs> In the episode, Patrick the Game, we noticed a quick error that almost no one noticed. That's because it happened very quickly, just in one frame. When Patrick goes to talk to Squidward to show him his mini version of Tic-Tac-Toe, we see that he indicates that he needs an X and an O for the game to be played. But a bit later, we see that all the scribbled sheets with X's and O's quickly turn blank. I should have gone with my first idea, Tick. 
In the same episode, we see that Patrick becomes obsessed with developing the game, to the point that he considers himself a creator wearing a lab coat and all. And if you look closely, he has a pocket in the front with a blue pin, right? But when they're playing and Sandy puts Squidward on the table, we can see through Squidward's eyes that there's no pin in Patrick's lab coat anymore. And no pocket either. This won't hurt a bit. Now sit back down, you criminal! In the episode King Plankton, we see something disgusting and funny that happens. Plankton ends up becoming the king of a place filled with sea chimps, but they end up rebelling, and after a few things, all the sea chimps and Plankton come out of Patrick's belly. The detail is that Plankton comes out of there completely wrecked, with a piece of one of his antennas missing. But immediately afterward, it seems like he magically heals and becomes good as new. I guess he took a healing potion from some video games. <laughs> Well, that's a write-off. You probably remember the episode Krusty Crushers, where Mr. Crab wants to train SpongeBob and Patrick to participate in a wrestling tournament to win a million dollars. Seriously, this time it was a lot of money, and I have to agree with the owner of the Krusty Crab this time. But that's not the error. <laughs> the error is in the purple sash that Patrick is wearing on his wrestler's outfit. Notice that he's wearing it normally at the very beginning, but later when it cuts back to him, it's gone. And after reminiscing about his weird glute workout, the sash reappears on Patrick Starr's face. And the truth is, it keeps appearing and disappearing throughout the episode. In the same episode, something really bizarre happens. Well, I mean, this whole episode is pretty bizarre from start to finish. <laughs> when SpongeBob and Patrick fight against a gigantic wrestler, he wraps SpongeBob up completely and then releases him, as if he were a spinning top. But our keen eyes noticed something very strange. As you saw, SpongeBob was wearing his wrestling outfit. But when he spins out, if you pause, you'll notice that in this scene, he's wearing his everyday clothes, brown pants, white shirt, and a red tie. How bizarre. Before showing you the latest mistake, we'd like to let you know that if you spot or noticed any errors in SpongeBob SquarePants, please share them in the comments along with the episode's name. We might include your contribution in our next SpongeBob error video. Lastly, in the episode Dear Vikings, we see SpongeBob writing a letter to the Vikings in a very innocent way. In addition to being very funny, this episode has some quite subtle animation errors. But today, we're going to talk about just one of them. When SpongeBob goes to talk to Squidward so he can explain what Vikings are, notice that right around the sleeve of SpongeBob's t-shirt, there's a darker, more rounded spot, which represents the holes that characterize him as a sponge. But after he kisses Squidward's forehead as a gesture of gratitude, Attitude, that rounded spot near the sleeve of his shirt simply disappears, as if it had evaporated. These were the 13 errors in SpongeBob that we've shared with you today. Now you can explore more super cool stuff here on the channel, so we've selected these two videos that are popping up on the screen for you. You should definitely check out the first one because it turned out really great.